Hey friends, it's Catherine from CatherinePuller.com and last week I asked you all what kind of projects you want to see for the holidays. Overwhelming response was things that kids can do and table setting stuff. So Thanksgiving is approaching very quickly here. So I have a table setting idea for Thanksgiving. And if you're not in the US, I'm going to try to not be egocentric here. You can really use this for any Okay, you're gonna need, you can see I've already had this for another project. And actually this morning I just, it hit me like a thunderbolt as it sometimes does. A great little place card holder for Thanksgiving dinner. So I kind of tore apart what I already had going on here because I don't have these on hand. I'm gonna have to go to the store. But I was so excited about this idea, I wanted to go ahead and get it done. I'm not sure what size this is, but to figure out what size this needed to be, all I did was measured the base, which is two inches, and then I measured this side, which is just a little bit over one. So double that, and you're at about two and a quarter, and then add the bottom, which is an inch. So now you're at about three and a quarter. So any size that you get at the office supply store is gonna work. Just make sure your designer series paper is cut to the right size. Okay, I'm using snail adhesive, which is gonna work great. You can use liquid glue also. I'm just going to take this and push it up kind of underneath these little rolled edges and then just wrap this around. Now, if you're doing a table setting for Christmas, all you do is sub out some Christmas paper for this. Now we have it decorated and totally cute, right? Well, now you're going to take, I have a two and a half inch circle punch and I have a piece from a doily sizzlet die. I started to punch these out and then um, I thought, you know, for the whole table, it's gonna be a lot of time to punch all these out, so I thought I'd leave them in and uh, I bet the kids will be punching them out at the Thanksgiving dinner table and make my sister-in-law nuts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just kidding. <laughs> so I'm going to take my vanilla circle. I'm going to adhere it right here. I have another two and a half inch circle, three dimensionals high. I'm just going to stick that here and use that to adhere these together and then it stays right on your little clip awesome and then what i thought is that the kids could write what they're thankful for right on this so actually i probably would not put these together right yet because you want them to write or you could put it together and just not glue these on yet when the kids arrive at thanksgiving dinner have them write out things that they're thankful for or if it's christmas have them do um a wish maybe not a wish for themselves but a wish for someone else that would be really nice for Christmas dinner. So I'm just putting my little acorn together here. I'm going to put this together with a leaf. And then I'm just going to add it to embellish this little clip. And if you're doing Christmas, how about some cutout mittens or a little stocking or a little tree or a gingerbread man? The possibilities are endless. So I hope you like this idea. And in a few days, I'm going to be sharing an idea for you for the napkin rings. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a wonderful day. Happy stamping.